Japan Blockchain Week ignites undercurrents of East Asian capital, Stanford AI Summit reshapes the tech power landscape busting through the summit fog to witness the ecosystem power restructuring. Event 1, Japan Blockchain Week sparks East Asian capital siphoning, Solana Ecosystems Tokyo showdown begins, regulatory easing triggers trillion yen liquidity migration, policy dividend explosion, Japan's financial services agency lifts bans on token incentives and DAO frameworks, allowing listed companies to issue utility tokens, instantly injecting traditional corporate market value into on-chain liquidity. Capital warfare escalates, SpyEye Group, under the halo of Japan's BlackRock, dominates Web's fintech expo. With Yoshitaka Kita secretly meeting Arthur Hayes to strategize Asia-Pacific stablecoin clearing channels. Techno-colonial crisis, the Solana Foundation forces Japanese developers to abandon Rust for move language. With local blockchain OZs losing over 40% of its daily active developers. Event 2, Stanford AI Summit reshapes the tech power chain, DeFi AI fusion protocols launch a surprise attack on Wall Street, a 16Z secretly funds ASI alliance, academic side unleashed, the Stanford Blockchain Summit releases the DeFi agent white paper, enabling AI agents to autonomously execute leveraged arbitrage, crushing retail investors' response times to milliseconds. Compliant dark pool formed, the SEC tacitly approves Starkware's case circuits as a new audit standard, rendering XBIT-style transparent contracts obsolete. Compute colonialism begins, the A16Z-backed ASI alliance demands projects stake 10% of tokens in exchange for AI compute, increasing development costs for small teams by 500%. Truth 1, the VC harvesting matrix beneath the summit's prosperity, while Solana's Tokyo conference revels, market makers have already locked in retail profits with options dark pools, liquidity illusion, Solana's super chain boasts 1.1 million daily transactions, but 78% of base chain transactions are Coinbase airdrop farming, with real user retention at just 29. Tokenomics Trap, among the 23 new projects launched at Web Summit, the average FDV fully diluted valuation is 8x the circulating market cap. With VC unlock countdowns triggering death spirals, regulatory arbitrage black box, Japan's DAO Special Act exempts VCs from on-chain taxes, while retail investors face a 37% withholding tax on cross-border transactions. Truth 2, the compute colonialism behind AI plus DeFi fusion, Stanford's white paper touts democratized AI, but actually hands protocol governance to GPU oligarchs, compute hegemony restructured, the A16Z controlled ASI alliance commands 23% of global AI compute, with DeFi agents paying a 0.8% inference tax per transaction. Data Feudal System, medical blockchain project Bithiv is forced to open patient data interfaces to the ASI Alliance under the guise of training public healthcare models. Tech Lock and Trap, Starkware's new audit standard mandates Cairo language compatibility, systematically sidelining Solidity developers. Bum's sharp take, the power shift code beneath the summit frenzy, as Japan waves the banner of regulatory easing. SpyEye Group has already diverted trillions in capital through stablecoin channels, as Stanford preaches AI democratization. A 16Z's compute staking size hangs over developers' heads, tech summits aren't utopias there on chain military parades of colonial power, before the ASI Alliance's compute monopoly takes hold. Dump high FDV summit tokens and cling to zero knowledge proof private keys and on-chain governance rights.